Yo, YouTube, it's been a minute, man. I know, I know. Don't even, don't even go there. But I did want to address, like, people have been asking me, is it actually, like, still possible to make a good, you know, a livable wage with Instacart full-time? Uh, I think, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, you want to diversify, have a little account with DoorDash, an account with Uber, Lyft, Uber Eats, everything that you can, you know, be a part of, you want to be a part of it. That's the best way to go about it. If Instacart's having a slow day, I mean, I said this before, I watched the old videos. Y'all y'all know how I get down. Do as many as you can. Diversify your money. It's still gig economy work, but it's as close to diversifying as we can get while still being in the gig economy. You know what I mean? But there are certain things you can do to ensure you're still going to have your five stars and you're still going to be able to make your quota 200, 250, whatever it is on a daily basis, not weekly. I, was, I talked to somebody. She told me she made 300 in like one week and she was like super excited about it, which is cool. I mean, if that's what you're doing, side hustle, I get it. But man, like 300 Instacart is a rough job, man. A rough, that's rough work. You need more than 300 a week for that. So tip number one, to keep your five-star rating and make sure you hit your daily quota, getting you to at least $1,000 a week. Which is kind of easy as long as you do seven batches. So that's tip number one. Do seven batches. There's something about when you hit six. Like in the morning, they rock with you. You know, stores are opening up, obviously. So they rock with you. They throwing buns out. They throwing good orders out. But in the afternoon, it kind of slows down. Once you hit 12 o'clock, it slows down gradually. And you got to know the areas to get into where either there's a low. All right, so that's tip number one. Tip number one, make sure you do at least seven batches. Tip number two. Um, man, it's, it's it gets crazy because there's so much I want to tell you about what to do and how to do it, but I have to give it to you in a decent order. Otherwise, it's like not going to make sense. Tip number one, make sure you do seven batches. Tip number two, watch your screen or, you know, your uh, updates and see where they keep pushing people to. Where do they keep giving orders to? Even though you're not anywhere close to there, they still keep on giving you orders for that area. That, to me, from my experience, means there's low shopping in that area. You know what I mean? So it's like they need people, so they're pushing numbers out. Even though no one is near there, they still getting updates about the batches for it, that area. So that to me means you need to get over there after 12. Before 12, go to where you like to go, where you know it is, you know, the area that you know, because that's best for you. Before 12, it's all about speed and going as fast as you can because the good orders are there in the morning. You just have to be fast enough to knock out more than one or two before 12 o'clock. I try to get at least three or four before 12. So... Tip number one, do at least seven batches. Tip number two, watch your screen for areas that are in need of shoppers. Tip number three, make sure you're doing at least three or four batches before 12 p.m. So that means you need to be up 6 a.m. out there getting it finishing your batches within the hour to get the three or four batches that's the only way you're going to make your quota it has to be before 12 because after that you i mean they just it, it gets it's a whole nother ball game so tip number one seven batches tip number two watch for low shopped areas tip number three go fast in the morning that's when it counts most. Go fast in the morning. Tip number four. I mean, 
keep your five star rating. Be a good customer service person. Supply good customer service. There you go. Um, that's like above all else. If you running late, the order's not going well, whatever you got to do, communicate so that they understand the situation. Don't get overboard if they're not talking back to you, so be it. Um, but when it's all said and done, here's tip number 